Well, last night, thousands of pro-Palestine protesters descended on Westminster to put pressure on MPs to support a suspension of fighting in Gaza. And I decided to join them. In fact, that's my way home. Why don't we have a look at how I got on? So, as you can see, I was egged by a young woman um, who was at the protest, threw two eggs at me, one missed my head, one got me. Before that, I'd been showered with liquid. I hope it was water. Who knows what's going on at the moment with Abdul Azidi on the streets. This started when I left work and I saw images being projected onto Big Ben. You can see them on screen there. It said, stop bombing Gaza. It said, from the river to the sea. Pro-Palestine messages being projected on to Big Ben, the Tower of Westminster. This is a criminal offence. I know this because I know the law. There's the projector. I walked over and it's a small implement. Look, it's no bigger than a small motorcycle battery on a tripod projecting. As you see, I pan over and it's on there. And the world was seeing these shameful messages. This isn't allowed. I know that because I've looked into it in the past. A law was passed in 2016 when anti-Brexit messages were routinely being broadcast onto parliamentary buildings. I told the coppers there, this is an offence. When are you going to go and stop these lads? And they said, oh, somebody else is going to deal with it. Offence number one, ignored. Here's what a young man has to say to me. The conversation was fascinating. You would get more sense out of a house brick. I've had better conversations with my cat. But the fact of the matter is, previous to that, a bloke with a ski mask could walk past. I said to a policeman in attendance, last week, mate, laws were passed. A thousand pound on the spot fine or a month in jail to remove those masks. It's a criminal offence buttressing laws that were passed the Public Order Act in 2015. The policeman did not want to know. The bloke simply walked off. Second offence. Then a bloke walked over the road and showered me with water. Um, as I said, he previously verbally abused me. I can't even show those clips. And then the eggs came. And as you saw, the copper took two strides to walk towards that, that young lady. She didn't even run. She didn't even jog. She walked off. He had no interest whatsoever in nicking her. Two-tier policing on the streets as that mob outside influenced what goes on inside Parliament. I think we're losing control of our streets. And I think that's because the police don't give them monkeys. That's just me.